Well, it's that time of year where Sarah tries to beat the system with her gift giving. So I'm going to attempt to come up with some gifts that would be good for teachers, co-workers, friends, neighbors, hostess gifts, all of that. And I'm gonna, no, my thought is that I don't want it to be over $10 each. In fact, I think I could even make them for free if I uh, really am ambitious and don't mind really DIYing things. So first off, I'm gonna make a wreath. This one's for my friend. So these gifts are not, oh, we have a broken umbrella. I have just a simple, it's not a form, but it's, you know, a wire frame that I got at the Dollar Tree for a wreath. And so I'm going to go out in my yard. It's actually pretty stormy. It's not really raining too hard right now, so this is a good chance for me to go out and grab some branches and things, but we're going to try to make a wreath, which really costs, you know, a dollar, dollar twenty-five, because that's all I needed was just the, the wire piece. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. You get these at the Dollar Tree, 18 inches. I have a holly bush that has, it doesn't have the prickly leaves on it, but it has the red berries, so I think I'm just gonna load up my laundry basket with those and work on this next. Oh my gosh, I have to go to Costco after this, and I can genuinely say I am afraid to face Costco in this weather in the dark. Now I'm going to be working on some candles while the branches are drying by the wood stove. So this is something I recommend throughout the year actually, is to Keep your eyes open for really cute tins, really interesting ones. If you find that the tins won't hold the melted wax, you can always seal the seam at the bottom of the container with Gorilla Glue. That's what I did with these. And then I love these glass jelly jars. I think they're very cute. I always grab these when I see them. They make really sweet candles. We're gonna use soy. And I'm gonna melt the soy over a hot water bath and add my scent. Simmer a pot of water and then place a disposable cake pan on top of that water and add one pound of soy. You're gonna heat this to 160 and then mix in two ounces or two teaspoons of your essential oil. Stir for one minute. Then take your sticker and your wick and center that inside your container. And you're ready to start pouring. Stabilize your wick. Here's a little added touch for candle giving as a gift that I think you're really gonna like. And by the way, you do not have to make your own candles, clearly. You can buy something thrifted or something in a store that you like, but this is a fun idea. Any little glass jar you have, we probably all have little collections of them because we're vintage people, you're gonna use it for matches. So you can buy white matches for weddings you can buy them on Amazon, but I like to get these matches. You get a set of 10 boxes, and I mean, that's over 300 matches, and I get these at Walmart for less than $2. So you can get the white ones, or you can just get these. Which are... So fill your jar all the way full with your matches. 
Okay, so I've seen in little gift shops jars like this and they have just some sandpaper, a circle of sandpaper on the bottom, which I thought was so cute. But I have tried that and I can't get the match to work. All I can do is sand off all of the green part and end up with a stick. So I think that if you want this to actually be functional and not just cute, you're gonna have to cut off the little strip from your matchbox and we'll hot glue a section of that on the bottom of the jar. All right, I'm back to working on the wreath. These are nice and dry. So what I'm gonna do is collect little bunches. The berries are coming off really bad. But I'm gonna collect little bunches and then wire them onto my frame. in more or you can see I don't know if I want to trim this or actually just wire it back on but you can decide okay now it's time for the ribbon I took two pieces of the brown ribbon and just tied them in a regular bow and then I had this shorter piece that's really wide double satin and I, I just put that in there like tails so there's actually about six there's six tails coming down so then I'm gonna stick some wire through here and I can easily attach it to the wreath now with this wire and then I'm just gonna trim the tails. I wanna make homemade caramels. I've been wanting to make these for a long time and we're going to wrap them in wax paper I always think that looks very elegant and it's a really simple recipe so let's get started first of all I see that I need some corn syrup which I never buy so I'm gonna make my own corn syrup substitute and I will have all of these recipes linked I'll put that in the description below but once I get my corn syrup made then I can make this caramel recipe that I've printed off crescent roll recipe that was my mother's and it's very very sentimental it's multi-generational we use it all the time at Thanksgiving and Christmas so this recipe written in her handwriting which I no longer have her with me so this is extra special this is going to be scanned and probably blown up I'll check that but I have this transfer sheets that you can iron on. So I like the Jolie's one and then I got this, it's a Target brand, the Up and Up brand. Both of these actually work well. And so I'm going to put the recipe on one of these. And then I just have a scrap of linen that I'm cutting and I'm gonna hem it. I'm, I'm cutting the sized 24 inches by 18. And then I'll just put a simple hem around it and we're gonna iron on this roll recipe.
getting dark again and we always run into this when we're filming in the winter time. So I will come back again another day and keep working on these gifts. But one thing I'm going to work on probably tonight is a washcloth. Now I wanted to tell you, you can of course thrift doilies. I actually love doilies for my dishcloths because they're beautiful and then they have a little bit of texture. So people don't really use these very much for decorations anymore. So when you find them, grab them for little washcloths. I could give this as a gift. I also want to crochet one. I've never done it and so I have a YouTube video which I'll link for you but I'd like to crochet one. I just have this cording that I did macrame with and I thought I will just see if I can make a dishcloth out of it. I'm trying to use up things I have and then I have this crochet hook. What number is it? It's a nine millimeter which is probably too big for a washcloth but I'm still gonna try it. I used this for my pom-pom garland that I made is it last year or the year before? Anyway, I'll link that for you as well because that is a darling DIY and I have gifted it before too. Okay, so I'm going to work on this since it's getting dark. I'll see you soon. <laughs> so the caramels are now ready to cut. I'm going to cut them in a little... Oh, they're about three quarter inch squares. And we're gonna cut just wax paper. I like about, oh, three inches wide, a strip that's three inches wide, and then I cut that into three sections. And we're going to wrap up our caramel and give it this little vintage flair. It looks very European, very elegant and sweet. The trick with your wax paper, though, is to keep it from tearing when you spin the ends. You want to pinch it first and then carefully twist it. shortbreads and gingerbread recipes and you press your dough into these molds and make beautiful cookies. So I have, I bought the pine cone mold. They're not very expensive. So I mixed up the cookie dough. It's chilling in the refrigerator. over there I made a big batch of that and I can then let it cool and put it in quart sized mason jars wrap them up really cute I grabbed some of Costco's bread so two loaves for six dollars I could have made these to make it even more inexpensive but this is a good trick if you're trying to do, uh, this is a good one for neighbors. So when it's near Christmas and everyone's rushing around and trying to get things wrapped and the last thing on their minds is a nice dinner, that's when you show up with your jars of soup and some beautiful bread and that's always a great gift for the neighbors.
got some inspiration from today's video. I love making gifts for people. I love challenging myself with prices and trying to DIY things and I learn things every year that I didn't know before, new products, new techniques. So challenge yourself this year and see what you can come up with to bring your Christmas budget down a little bit and your skill level up. All right, take care you guys. I'll see you next week.